This example will demonstrate how to program elevator recall using the PFC 6000 series panels and the PFC 6000 series software. Elevator recall pertains to recalling the elevators when the smoke detectors in the elevator lobbies are active. In most cases, the primary floor of egress is the first floor or ground floor of the building. In the event that there is an incident on the first floor, the elevators will recall to the secondary floor of recall, which in this case, as shown on this slide, is the second floor. Please refer to job specifications and your elevator codes to determine your primary floor of egress and your secondary floor of egress. I will also be including relays for shunt trip as well as firefighter hat. As you can see on this slide, I have a three-story building. Each elevator lobby has a smoke detector. The elevator machine room is sprinkled and does have a heat detector and smoke detector installed. In this particular example, I will not be including smokes in the elevator hoistway. However, please refer to your specific job to determine whether there are smoke detectors in the hoistway or in the pit. Now taking a look at how this is going to work. In the event that there is a smoke detector active that is on the second, third, or any floor above that, we want to activate the primary recall relay, which will tell the elevator controller to recall the elevators to the primary floor of egress, which is in this case the first floor. In the event that there is an incident on the first floor, which is our primary recall floor, we need to recall the elevators to the secondary recall floor, which in this case is the second floor. So when the smoke detector on the first floor activates, we activate the secondary recall relay. Now when talking about shunt trip, shunt trip will trigger a relay that will indicate to the elevator controller that they need to kill the power to the elevator prior to the sprinkler head opening up in the elevator machine room. Therefore, the shunt trip relay is triggered when the heat detector in the elevator machine room activates. When that heat detector activates, we also want to recall the elevators to the primary floor of recall, which is the first floor, so we want to trigger that relay. And in the event that the smoke detector in the elevator machine room activates, we will activate the fire hat in the elevator car by triggering that relay. This particular example pertains to elevator recall for one to three floors, one to five floors, one to however many floors. The things to know are your primary floor of egress, the secondary floor of egress, and then how many relays are going to be required for your particular job. Now taking a look at the programming. To demonstrate programming elevator recall, I'm using a PFC 6075 program. I've already uploaded the program and customized the messages of all my devices. I have four notification circuits. I have smokes in the elevator lobbies, first through sixth floor. I have a smoke detector in the elevator machine room, a heat detector in the elevator machine room, my four relays, primary, secondary, shunt trip, and fire hat, as well as one sprinkler zone with a water flow and supervisory. I've already customized a few of my zones. My general alarm currently has all my notification circuits in it, as well as all of my smoke detectors, heat detector, and my water flow to activate those notification devices. I have a supervisory zone with my sprinkler supervisory point, and I've created a fire drill zone with my four notification circuits in it to trigger when the drill button on the front of the fire panel is pressed. For programming of the elevator recall, I'm first going to create four zones because I have four relays for this particular example. The first zone I'm going to label primary recall. I'm going to make sure this zone is non-silenceable since I'll be putting relays in it. I'm going to go and grab that relay. This is going to be the primary recall relay. And this relay, when this is triggered, is going to recall the elevators to the primary floor of egress, which again is the first floor, which means I want all of the elevator lobby smokes that are above the first floor, so that's second through sixth floor. I'm also going to include the smoke detector in the elevator machine room, as well as the heat detector in the elevator machine room, since I would like those to recall the elevators to the first floor as well. I'm going to select all of those and drag them into this zone, and that's primary recall. My next zone I'm going to label secondary recall, also sometimes seen as alternate recall. Again, I'm going to make this zone non-silenceable. The output in this zone is going to be the secondary recall relay, so I'm going to drag that in there. And what's going to trigger the secondary recall is going to be the first floor elevator lobby smoke. In the event that this smoke is active, I'd like to recall the elevators to the secondary floor regress. So that's secondary recall. My next zone is going to be shunt trip. I'm going to make this non-silenceable. Again, I'm going to grab the output, which is the relay for shunt trip. Now this particular relay is going to be triggered by the heat detector in the elevator machine room. So I'm going to grab that. In the event that the heat detector is active, we know that at some point in the near future, the sprinkler 
is going to potentially open up and dump water into this room. So we want to trigger this relay indicating that they need to kill power to the elevator controls prior to the sprinkler head opening up. So I also need to make sure that this fixed heat detector, that the alarm threshold is less than the sprinkler head. And it is right now set to the default of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm actually going to change that to 150 degrees for the alarm threshold. My last zone for elevator recall is going to be my fire hat. Again, I'm going to make this non-silenceable. I'm going to grab the output. This is the relay that will trigger the fire hat. The fire hat is located in the elevator car, and this is triggered by the smoke detector in the elevator machine room. Again, this is a tool for the fire department to know that the incident is now occurring in the elevator machine room. And those are the four zones for elevator recall. For example, this photo detector in the elevator machine room, if I expand that in the points list, I can see that it's actually in three zones. General alarm, it's triggering the primary recall relay to recall the elevators to the primary floor of egress. It is also triggering the fire hat in the elevator car. The fourth floor elevator lobby smoke is going to be triggering the general alarm zone, so the notification devices in the building. It is also triggering the primary recall relay. So every point can go in every zone, which makes elevator recall very simple to program in the software. For more information, please refer to the installation manual and the other recorded modules on the programming software.